All right, so we're working on um, the idea of doing cell shading in Animate. And the idea is, um, Anna, are you seeing the Animate screen again? Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. The, the idea is to find the layer, like we're gonna do it on um, this gentleman's face. I'm gonna mm -hmm. lock all of the layers and then un unlock them to find them. Find it. This is that layer. I can tell it just jumped into it. So I'm going to lock everything again and unlock face one mm -hmm. and zoom in on it. And um, so we, we had Pantone colors for the faces already um, that we, we are all using, but we would want a shadow um, to be on one side. And typically with shadows, we have it be um, not on the facial area, but um, on the parts that we don't want to show the, the um, main elements of the faces. So I'm going to pick a color. Um, so I often just pick from this color. That gives me the color picker. I'm going to then open this swatch set up. And uh, I see that this swatch set that you have in your file set, Anna, is mm -hmm. the one that's the older one. Um, mm -hmm. We have a new swatch set that's for universal mm -hmm. design. If I click on the, um, there's a demo on the course site for yep. how to get the CLR and the link. Mm -hmm. I've already got it. So I'm gonna click on the hamburger menu and replace these colors. Um, mm -hmm. And I know that you have your swatches here. Yeah, and that's pretty but, much that's the only thing I was- Yeah, so I'm just gonna click um, to replace and your mm -hmm. swatches are likely in the file already anyway. So this is the, the set that is universal color. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm gonna find a color that is um, like darker than his face and I'll, I'll try this. I mean, you always just like, oh, I don't know if it will really work, but mm -hmm. we'll try this. I will put it in my brush. So I'm gonna hit B for brushes, the shortcut. And that brings us up to here. Again, I'm gonna, well, I have to hit V to select his face. Now choose brush, make my brush bigger because it was quite a bit smaller. In the brush tool set, um, this, this part, brush mode, there's paint selection. This is fantastic because I've got it selected. I won't be painting on his hair or anything else. So I'm gonna paint the selection. Um, and choose, you see how it's kind of functioning. Probably his whole entire neck would be in that darker element. And this is really where I wanted to get um, a sense of his mm -hmm. lip, this bottom part would be here. Mm -hmm. um, and it would probably be shaded here, 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 just a little bit of that lip part on the top. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I'm just kind of coming through and giving visual yeah. interest. Um, oh, maybe he looks a little too evil now. <laughs> with the dark eye underneath, but yeah. Yeah, yeah, I get what you're saying about that. Um, but the nice thing about what I'm doing now is that it's, uh, uh, it's able to be, uh, no, so it's selected right now. I'm gonna click off with, I just grabbed the V tool. I do think it's too dark, so I'm gonna now select it and then go to color the palette part and go a little bit lighter. And now remember uh, in the demo that I give, we don't want to go way up in saturation. We'll not mm. probably go way up to red, but we don't want to go into these non-printable, um, non-universal colors, but I'm going to lighten it and let's see, and probably saturate it to give it a little bit more pinkness. And see, I still think it needs to go way lighter. <laughs> Like it's too dark and it's actually making him feel scary to me. So yeah. he's um, got very like vibrant pink skin. Yeah. And sometimes even shifting it into like a little bit of orange, but not that, not mud, Susan. So you just kind of like playing with it in the context. Mm -hmm. um, so we're getting there. Mm -hmm. And it's possible to add like a little other, another highlight. And especially for those of you that are working with the African-American people or people of African descent, it will be important to not have the characters be fully one dark shade because it will be hard to see the, the lines on the, 
on the characters' faces, so having highlights on them, which is actually of either the local color of the skin or um, kind of working back and forth. We're, we're doing that in our um, Pro Studio project, which I don't have those up right now, but yeah. So that's cell shading in Animate. Mm. Oh, something else that just came to mind. Um, I know on the one where you were discussing the gradient, you had talked about how we can have like our outlines be uh, like different colors kind of. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure where I got it from, but some for some reason I was under the impression that the outlines had to be that navy blue color. Um, they uh, can be, and that's actually a good start, but you can shift colors into other, other places. Okay. Um, so yeah, the style guide allows for some flex on that. On a, okay. Yeah, so um, like in this one, we made it flesh colored. Um, mm -hmm. if, we, if I stop sharing here and share my um, screen with the um, imaging to stuff. Let me show you that. Because even my example that I made, um, the color of the line shifts. Are you seeing the Google Drive stuff? My yep. Google site? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, in the overview and in the cards. And just click on the one that's just the cards. Um, well, you can see in this card there's light blue line or not line. Um, mm -hmm. Certainly here that she's using all the, all the navy and all the, mm -hmm. the magenta, uh, but uh, here there's a shift to the orange mm -hmm. outlines, green outlines, brown outlines. Something sometimes it's helpful to match the tone of or the color sense with a little bit darker. Of, of part of whatever you're rendering with the outside lines. And mm -hmm. that helps it to feel a little bit more um, visually interesting. Um, so it's really quite nice with the thicker brown lines and then blue lines. It's, there, is, there are nods to the navy and magenta within this. So that's mm -hmm. one thing to recognize is that it's a part of a card set that is navy and magenta, at least right mm -hmm. now. We don't, we don't have somebody designing the back this year, so we might end up using it again. Um, yeah. Um, but yeah, I said I was going to show mine. Uh, see, internally, I'm using lighter line to push the hierarchy of that space. So think about um, the hierarchy of your line. If every, every line is all dark and black, it starts to kind of pull everything forward, and we're looking mm -hmm. for some things to push and pull according to the story that you're creating. Here I've got like a darker blue-green than what is inside here. Mm -hmm. So, and sometimes no line, there's no line here, no line here. So it's up to you. Yeah. Whatever is looking good, okay? Mm -hmm. Other great examples, this one has a lot of really beautiful line work. Okay.